In today's solo survival video, I will take over an island on escalation. We will eliminate all competition, get extremely geared, and build a pretty nice base. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 250 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos, since we're also trying to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Last video's mythical giveaway winner show now, and today we're going to run another one, which is a soul shattered serrated taklovka. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, so I'm joining a server which is uh, five times loot. I'm gonna be completely alone. Now I think I actually do have some loot. I'm not entirely sure. I did play here a very long time ago when the server launched. So I do may have uh, some stuff in there. No, I'm naked. But maybe in vault. Yeah, we do have some stuff in vault. Alright, that's good. So the server is set to wipe to a few days actually. So there's not gonna be a lot of people on. But today I have one goal in mind. And that is to take over... An entire island. If there are bases already built there, I will do everything I can to raid them. I do have some stuff for making adhesives in my vault, so that's pretty good. I'm already a villain. I have an asset as well in my vault. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to loot Parkwood. I'm gonna loot this town, this city, as quickly as possible, try to get myself some loot. Five times loot is actually crazy high. For some reason on this map, when it's five times loot, it feels like it's like 100 times. It still drops five items, but... You just get very important stuff every single time. Like, we're guaranteed to get ourselves coffee filters, stuff for adhesives extremely easily. Guns as well. But it doesn't matter. That means that everybody in the server is going to be super geared. Everybody's gonna have loot. Yeah, we got ourselves a backpack and a baseball bat. Let's just kill the zombies. And we got ourselves some clothes, some melees. Yeah, we got ourselves a pistol mortar, nitroglycerin. Alright, pretty good. Yeah, we'll salvage everything. Gonna try to get myself enough for a bed as well. Let's drop the baseball bats. We don't need them. And now, oh, there we go. We already got a glow. All right. So yes, I'm going to load this town as quickly as possible. Try to get as much zombie kills as possible, as much loot. And when I feel like I'm set, uh, something just happened. I just leveled up to level two. Okay. I guess this is a new feature that the server has. I don't know what happens when you reach higher levels, but it's pretty cool. But as soon as we're finished from looting here, I will go to a island. I will try to take over the largest island, obviously. Probably gonna be a lot of bases around, but if there are unraided bases, I will raid them. If there are raided bases, then there's really nothing to do. But I will also try to build myself a pretty large base. I do have a plan of how I want to build it, but you guys will see whenever we get to it. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry, because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight back into the action. Well, someone just called in an airdrop or something man. People are probably geared. I'm noticing a lot of bases around so most of them are raided unfortunately but noticing a few small unraided ones as well but bro there's too much bases. There's so many, man. Whenever you go, there's like five bases next to each other. But yeah, this server is not solo or anything. Everybody is, you know, groups and whatever. Now, the island that I'm gonna try to build in is very close to the dead zone, too. So we're gonna try to, you know, hit the dead zone up as much times as possible. Got myself a full inventory. Got myself a lot of loot. A lot of stuff for adhesives. There's literally a pyramid built over there. There's so many bases. Yeah, I think this one over here is actually unraided. Yeah, it is. I made it on the island. I think it's more than just claimed for now. Yeah, I think this base is raided though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But actually, this is not the first island I want to build in. This is a um, pretty smaller island. I want to build on the larger one. Yeah, I don't think this one is raided either. We could just come back later for it if we want to. I'm going to chop down a tray and I'm going to build some stairs. I'm going to see if it's actually raided or not. I do have uh, myself a pry bar, which should chop down trees. All right, there we go. All I need is just five locks for now. There we go, we got some stairs. I kind of hope that it is raided. 
so that we wouldn't have anyone living close to me. Alright, let's just put that right over there. I'm gonna have to make myself another set of stairs. But this is not the island I want to build in either. But I want to check. Maybe there's loot inside. Since it's five times loot, there's probably some people leaving loot inside bases. Alright, yeah, it is raided. But there is no storage anywhere. May not actually be fully raided. Yeah, this part back here is not raided. Oh yeah, no, never mind. It is. Yeah, I'm not gonna jump down. I don't want to get stuck. Alright, so we're gonna go to that island right in front of us. Uh, I don't think bases are rendering, but... Doesn't seem like there's any on it, so that's perfect. Alright, never mind. Never mind, now they're rendering. Alright, so yeah, we made it on the island. Looks like there's a bunch of smaller bases, but the main area is not built upon. And there's another base there. I actually think they are unraided, so that's good. We're gonna have to raid them. This one is completely destroyed. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, but everything's empty. Alright, it's time to start chopping down trees. I think there are two unraided bases, so... Hey, that's really good, but first we're gonna focus obviously on getting ourselves as much loot as possible and having ourselves a base. Alright, so I already got everything to make a gauze mask filter and all I need is just some more fabric and some more plastic and I could do dead zone runs. Obviously I need a good gun because right now I just have pistols. I do have an asset in my vault but I do have a plan. I'm probably just gonna suicide, kill myself and I will just take the asset out of vault and loot wherever I spawn to closest. We're gonna put all of the clothes in here. We're gonna kill ourselves and we have leveled up. Alright, lovely. And we're gonna loot over here. Yeah, we should get ourselves some loot from here. Since it's five times loot, no matter where you go, you're gonna you're bound to get good loot, man. It's crazy. Because even one military zombies feels like you just killed five military zombies. It's crazy. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of five times loot servers. I prefer vanilla plus or two times at the most. Oh, well, somebody just threw a grenade or something, man. What the hell was that? Yeah, I do have my asset in my vault. There's people around. I'm gonna try to kill them, obviously. Let's put all the glue and duct tape that I got, all the millions of them. Yeah, he's right over there. Dead. There we go. Alright, let's go. Let's see if my guy had any insane loot. Oh, there's somebody else. He has a Centauri. Oh, he's here. There we go. He's dead, too. Oh, he had an Ulfbert, not a Centauri. Alright, we gotta kill all of these zombies with my frying pan. Alright, so my guy had... I right, had fire axe, some glue, some guns. He had three glue, actually. Let's salvage the clothes, we don't need them. He had circuit board, a bunch of electronics. But yeah, I got everything I need to make the gas mask, and now I got myself some ammo to actually do the dead zone run. We're gonna salvage all of the Centaurus and the Ulfbert. Give me some ice magazines. Alright, not too bad. Pretty good double kill. Alright, back in base, got myself uh, two lockers. Now, basically, the base that I want to build is it's going to be like a bunker base. It's going to be a floor beneath this one by one that I have. Already started myself some of the layer uh, outer foundations, too. It looked pretty cool, but right now, it's, I'm gonna focus on that. There we go. We got a gas mask. We're gonna empty our vault so that we have a clear vault. Obviously, in the dead zone, I'm gonna focus on getting myself stuff to make raiding gear. I'm gonna try to get the Valkyrie, the HMG components. Maybe today we'll get ourselves an HMT. But today I do want to raid these bases on my on, on this island. That's really my main goal. And also I'm probably going to try to raid some bases that are a bit far away. I have got ourselves an empty inventory. I'm going to take myself only some extra magazines. If it's five times loot, God knows what we're going to get from it. It's going to be so much loot over there probably. Imagine we get like five airdrop grenades from it. That would be insane. I accidentally unclaimed the bed. But yeah, let's salvage these. Make ourselves some meds. And yeah, here we go. Dead zone time. Alright boys, dead zone time. I had to remove the baffle kit so that the zombies are lured here. Yeah, there's a lot, bro. There's so many. I'm gonna have to clear them all out like this. Alright, let's reload. Yeah, there's already a few guns. ECS, LTLMs, mags. Let's switch clothes too. Alright, let's reload one more time. Yeah, we got ourselves 500 bullets for, yeah, we got a least spec baffle kit. Even if we don't get good stuff and we just salvage all of these guns, we're gonna get so much metal and springs and gun parts. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we cleared them all out. We got ourselves some high cal. There's a high tech fuse too. A lot of guns, man. A lot of guns. 
EODs, Amphibious. We're gonna wear full Amphibious because we're actually much faster with it. Let's see what these zombies back here drop. We got a knock. Yeah, two red tech fuses. Alright, let's get ourselves the Valkyrie. Yeah, it's here. Perfect. We got ourselves Sabot Slugs. And there's somebody outside. Wait, what? Alright, I'm gonna home. I don't wanna risk this loot. Bro, there's somebody... I think somebody inside the dead zone. I think he's camping me out then. I think he's trying to bait me. I'm gonna run out. Because I can't home when I'm in dead zone. And I'm gonna home. And we'll come back. We'll come back and try to kill whoever is here. If he's still here, obviously. But we got ourselves a good run. We got ourselves still 50% in, in the gas mask as well. So we can just return for another run. But got ourselves quite a ton of guns. Let's put the gas mask back in vault. No airdrop grenades though, unfortunately. Right, actually, I think I'm gonna work on base a little bit. Since we got ourselves some high tier loot. 300 high cal shots. I think I'm gonna work on upgrading base. I'm gonna chop down as much trees as possible. Because yeah, we're already full of loot. So it's tree chopping time and base building time. And we're gonna build ourselves our first bunker in escalation it's gonna be like a bunker it's not really gonna be a bunker but it'll look very cool Alright, so the base is done. Bunker is technically how I wanted it to be. I don't know. If you guys do like this base design, let me know. I think it's pretty cool, actually. There we go. We got ourselves another adhesive. This crate over here is full, man. But we can start making charges if we really want to. So I gotta farm myself some stuff. That's what I'm gonna go do next. We're gonna go farm probably for the full night because it's gonna be dark very very soon it's actually a full moon so that's perfect yeah i need chemicals more than anything so i'm gonna suicide and wherever i spawn i spawn but yeah we need chemicals to make more adhesives and then basically we would be all set because i have basically everything to make adhesive except chemicals so let's put the acid there and uh yeah i really hope i spawn at walk-in actually because a walk-in is a good location for mechanical loot Oh, there's someone throwing grenades, bro. I think that's on the bridge. Yeah, maybe on the bridge. It could be here, but no, it's not at the camp. I'm gonna try to kill whoever just threw that. I think, yeah, they're shooting now, so that's Ulfbert, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's on the bridge. Oh, he's right there. There you go, he's dead. Let's check out what loot my guy had. There's zombies, bro. It's a full moon. It may actually be annoying for me to loot. He had a bunch of guns, a bunch of clothes. I'm gonna avoid all of these zombies. Yeah, he has a shotgun. Yeah, I hear more. There's a melee here. I'm gonna try to take that. Bro, where is it? I can't pick up this melee. Let's switch clothes. Let's jump over the zombies. I mean, I could shoot them down, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got the melee. Let's just kill these zombies. There was some nitro on the floor. Nitro is very good. We need them for charges. Oh, wait, there's a dude here. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, my guy was a naked. We're gonna get ourselves quite a lot of clothes from this, so that's nice. Let's kill this dude. Yeah, more clothes. Another oath bird. Oath birds are nice because we can get ourselves a random attachment in the save zone, but I'm not gonna keep them, probably. We get ourselves a handbook, MP, coffee filter. Oh, more nitro. That's nice. Yeah, I need as much nitro as possible. Let's salvage the oath bird. We get ourselves a lot of metal from it. Oh, I'm getting shot at, bro. There's a dude. Bro, die. Oh my god, I need to reload. This guy missed so many. Bro, you good? There we go, he's dead. Yeah, my guy had an MP and a bunch of clothes. How the hell did he not kill me? Alright, well, I'm going to walk in for chemicals. That's my goal right now. I hear somebody wearing clothes. Oh wait, my guy's right here. There we go, he's dead. I think there's more in the gun store. Oh no, there isn't. Never mind. I heard wrong, but... Yeah, we called the guy. Let's see what my guy had. Bro, a lot of zombies though. Kill them all. I hope there's mechanical zombies, man. Oh, yeah, there are a few. Let's kill these zombies. There we go, all dead. 
We got ourselves one chemical, another one, another glow over here. Uh, my guy was geared, damn. All right. Bro, these zombies need to really go away. There we go. Um, yeah, he had duct tape, a bunch of guns, glue. We're gonna take all of the knives so we can salvage them. We got ourselves a lot of mess. So we got a banana. Really happy we got a banana. Another chemicals. Yeah, I think we have more than enough chemicals for now. All right, first base raid. We're gonna raid this three by two full wood. So it's gonna take one C4. I have no idea if there's base health on the server since it's five times loot. I imagine there may be, but I got myself two C4 for now, which is more than enough. Should be one C4. Let's see if there is base health. Uh, there is not. And we raided into an open, empty area. Nice. All right. Well, looks like we're gonna have to use both C4 for this base raid. Let's put this one over here. Let's hope that side is where the loot is, but never mind. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get the Valkyrie. The, the, probably the loot is in the part where I didn't trade. Great. That was a waste of 2C4, but it's whatever. I'll get the Valkyrie and uh, hopefully I'll have enough, man. Oh, we're back. Let's hope I have enough. Oh, oh actually, one shot was enough. Oh, there, yep, there we go. All right, got ourselves a bunch of large crates. This one is full. Let's put this bad boy back in vault. There's a locker. I'm gonna try to get inside. Pretty sure it is possible. Yep, alright. Perfect. Uh, two beds, a bunch of... That one's locked. A bunch of books. A bunch of crates. Uh, alright, night vision, by Z. A bunch of clothes, some amphibious. We got ourselves a backpack, so let's take the by Z. A bunch of ammo, by the looks of it. Uh, this one has some ingots. Obviously, ingots are nice. Chemicals, that's really good. ECS. This one is- this is a pretty good raid. Oh my god, there's so many guns. Yeah, we're gonna salvage all these guns. We're gonna get so much gun parts. Yeah, some glue, chemicals, even more chemicals, duct tape. Yeah, we got so much stuff for adhesives, man. More glue. A throwing landmine. Okay, I did not know that even exists. We're gonna take all of the electronics pliers, all of these. There's some grenade launchers. The hell is- that? all right, we got ourselves a stack of metal ingots. That's pretty good. Let's destroy the beds. Let's get ourselves a chainsaw. Alright, pretty good raid. I kind of wish I used the 1C4 though. But, obviously I, I couldn't know. Alright, first bed is destroyed. It's a duo base. We're slowly starting to take over this island. There's still another base we have to raid though. But this is a pretty good raid. I like this one. We still have to raid the locker from this one too. We're gonna have to salvage so many guns. It's gonna be so good. So much metal. Probably can upgrade the full base into full reinforce from this. Yeah, first loot run, pretty good. There's some more ingots in here. Alright, let's home, depot, and we will return. We're gonna salvage all of the clothes, obviously. We're gonna salvage everything, man. We're not gonna leave a single item here. And I recommend everybody that raids to do the same. Because you'll never know when the owners come back and they use the guns that you leave or whatever. Alright, so we're gonna stack all of the ingots, obviously. And we'll go back. We'll go back and continue raid. Probably the locker. But I think we're gonna do that at the very end. First, let's actually get all of the loot that is already in the open. Got ourselves another locker, so that's pretty good. Let's put this right over here next to the other lockers. Alright, time to salvage all of these billions of guns that there are. I'm gonna keep the ECS because we can raid with that. Maybe we'll finish off the locker with it. Bro, we can craft any single gun we have. We can get ourselves a walker, but I, I won't do that. I'll keep the metal for upgrading base and maybe doing a blast forge later on. And we'll get ourselves a, a full metal base. That would be pretty good. Right, let's make them all into ingots. We got so many from this. A lot of springs too. We'll drop all of the magazines. We don't need all the shotgun shells. And we still didn't raid the locker. We'll come back and continue finishing goods off. But got ourselves uh, so much ingots from this. This is really good. Let's savage all the clouds. Make them into bandages and meds. Got more ingots. Got three stacks of ingots from this. Got ourselves a jackhammer. Two jackhammers, chainsaw. Take all of the metal. It's more glue I left here. There we go, and we got ourselves blowtorch cams. Nothing too good, man. I was kind of hoping for better loot. There's better loot inside the crates. There's a fire axe down there. Oh yeah, we're done from this raid. Pretty good first raid. Could have been better, but could have been worse too. So I will not complain. Got a lot of metal from it. Quick soda break. 
Alright boys, base raiding time, base raid number 2, the second base raid of the island, and it is the last one, there are no more unraided bases here. So once we raid this, this is technically our island. I fell, I did not want to do that. To get on top of this base, we have to parkour, man, it's crazy. We're gonna have to jump on this, and then here, and here, and here we go. It was not enough. Alright, well, that means that there is actually base health, I think, because it should be more than enough. Yeah, now we're through, and, uh, okay, some crates, a lot of crates. Oh my god, okay. Alright, uh, this one is better than the other one. A LMG ammo, that's good. Now we got ourselves Hermes, there's so many guns, two knocked. Hermes again. We got ourselves a CSO, a bunch of nades, a bunch of ammo, duct tape, meds. Yeah, this one is a very good raid, damn. There's one is empty, let's check out what's in these. A bunch of glue, a bunch of ammo, chainsaw, steely wheelie, wood, a lot of metal. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna just close this base. There we go. So if the owners do decide to come back, it's my base still. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of refined oil, a lot of stuff to make adhesives, nitroglycerin. Bro, this is good. There's one claimed bed over here. I'm gonna destroy it, obviously. We'll take that steely. Let's take the chainsaw so we destroy this. I think we actually profited from this. Very good raid. Yeah, let's destroy this bed. There we go. Glow duct tape, pliers, a bunch of marksman ammo, duct tape, a lot of metal springs. This is so good. This is really, really good. Cloth. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. We're gonna have to do multiple runs for this raid. I don't know if I checked all of the crates either. Yeah, a bunch of guns, duct tape, generator, circuit board. Bro, night vision. Oh my god, there's an HMT. Bro, we got an HMT. We have ammo for it too. Bro, there's no way. Yeah, it has ammo in it. Bro, we have two full boxes for it. Oh my god. Yeah, we could continue raiding this base. This one is made out of normal wood, so let's just break it. Here we throw, and uh, there's nothing here though. Just takes us to the second floor. Okay. Let's check out this room. Uh, it is empty, yeah, just an airlock. Bro, what's a good raid? This is the first time I got an HMT on a survival server. It's insane. This one is a, definitely a profitable raid. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna home and I'm gonna depot and we'll come back and we'll take the rest. Now we're back for round two. Let's see what we missed. A uh, bunch of, yeah, still some assets here and there. I think that was my asset actually and I left it here. Because I took over the knock. There's so many guns. Another knock, CSOs for days. There's so many assets, bro. This was a solo base, too. This guy grinded. Yeah, we didn't even check this crate, I think. Bunch of nitro yet. Yeah, we definitely profited, 100%. I'm gonna do a dead zone run now. I'm gonna go... Yeah, there's some bases up there, but I think that they are raided. I don't know what else to raid now, to be honest, because everything is kind of raided. I'm gonna check to see if I missed anything over here, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we raided the full base as well. I'm gonna check out in this part, though, just to make sure maybe there's loot in the honeycomb. I doubt it, but I'm gonna check it out anyway, you know? Oh, yeah, we're through already. Yeah, nothing here, just another airlock, basically. I'm gonna check out in this room. Let's reload. Alright, we're through and yeah, nothing. Nothing here, but we basically unlocked the full base. Alright, not too bad. Kind of wasted a little bit of ammo now, but next I'm gonna do a dead zone run. Alright, dead zone run number two. Give me the good loot, baby. Give me airdrop grenades. Or high caliber, because we need high caliber for the minigun now. Oh, there we go, airdrop grenade. Nothing else that good, just a bunch of guns. Yeah, I think we cleared them all. Yeah, we got ourselves another airdrop grenade. Uh, nothing that good, bro, actually. Night vision. Yeah, no, no high cal, man. We'll take the gun so we'll salvage. We get ourselves a bunch of metal, but... I was really hoping to get high cal from this, but it's whatever. Alright, let's throw these bad boys. I came to the base I raided, so people tried to... I don't know, come for the airdrops. I learned that the hard way. They would think this is my base, and they would be like, oh, this is raided. Something like that. I don't think anyone's gonna come all the way out here, though. But yeah, let's hope we get something good. Now, I did find myself, like, five industrial lockers on the beach. I think the base decayed, but the lockers, they didn't decay yet. So, they're either very low HP, or the owners just build them and they didn't even bother to build a base. But the thing is, they're kind of floating, so they were on a foundation for sure. So, the base probably decayed, and we're gonna try to raid that. Alright, first one landed. Let's see what we get, and adhesive, that's good. Nitro. 
and a bunch of guns, some grenades for the grenade launcher. And second one we got med kit and a bunch of high cal. That's really good actually. Regen stems. All right, you know what? That's actually two really good airdrops. I'm happy with those. Quick start of break. All right, so these are the lockers I was talking about. Let's raid. I really hope we got something good. Yeah, but bro, there's loot. Oh my god. Bro, there's so much. Okay, so whoever built this base, they just never bothered to return to the server and left everything here. Bro, we're gonna profit so much from this. We got three adhesives, like five missiles. Bro, that's crazy. Why so many missiles, man? I wish I know where the tank is. I do have a steely. I could raid the whole server with the tank. Broke and oh my god, there's even more stuff. All right. Yeah, we're taking it all There's like stacks of fabrics a bunch of glow. This one didn't really actually have a lot of stuff compared to the other one The other one was full of raiding stuff. Yeah, the base completely decayed except the industrial lockers and they have the best loot probably Oh, yeah, I am out of ammo. I think I'm actually going to uh, depot and will return Actually, let me shoot another one All right, let's reload we got ourselves HMG components, we can make ourselves sentry with that. Yep, it broke and... Bro, even more. Nitro. Bunch of guns. Yeah, this one had a bunch of guns. We have anvil, man. We have like full anvil almost. Oh yeah, I'm out. Alright, I'm gonna home, I'm gonna depot and we will return. I'll probably come back with the uh, grenade launcher actually. Yeah, we have one here, but I still gotta get myself some grenades. I actually do have grenades on me. Yeah, too late though, I homed. Bro, we have so much loot, man. Yeah, this one is empty. Let's just fill it up. It's not gonna be empty for long. Right, let's put everything. We got a charge, too. That's crazy. Right, let's shoot this. Yeah, it was enough. More loot fell off. And... Dude, two Valkyries. So much slugs. Bro, these guys were geared, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just five times loot. So everything that you're gonna find is geared. I don't think escalation is made for five times loot. I played five, two servers, five times loot, both servers. I got insanely geared in such a short time. I do think that normal loot for this map is perfect. I do think five times is crazy high. Imagine like a hundred times. Imagine like a hundred times. You kill one zombie in the dead zone and you're geared for life. Too much. Let me know what you guys think of five times loot. It is probably more intense when it comes to PvP though. The server doesn't really have a lot of people on. It's like 15 people on at all times. Before it was like 60 plus, but I don't know. Either it's because I joined early or because the server is gonna wipe soon. But it doesn't matter. I am super geared as a solo. Got myself my own island. All I have to do is just make myself a bunch of sentries around the island, and that's it. It's my island. And we can do that with all those adhesives I just got. We can definitely do that. Alright, another raided base. Oh, what? There's loot, though. Bro, there's like 15 missiles in here. Okay. A bunch of guns. Alright, whoever raided this base just left out most of the loot. Bro, this is why you always check decayed bases. I swear to god, if I get myself the tank, I can literally raid everything. Even though everything is already raided. There's another three missiles in here. Four more missiles. Bro, that's like three nitroglycerin each. Even though you cannot salvage them, but... It's a lot, man. Yeah, this is why you always check raided... There's four night vision in here. Bro, whoever raided this base, they just... I don't know what happened. But it's my loot now. Alright guys, so after that I did actually home and I did leave the server. I gave all of my base and my loot to a viewer of mine and he just kept playing. I'm not really a huge fan of five times loot, but we did get ourselves our own island and we did do some pretty good raiding. So I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!